Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about one of the problem from lead code. It's a medium problem. The problem name is find duplicate subtree. Okay. So you are given the root of a binary tree, which and you have written all the duplicate subtrees. So for each kind of duplicate subtree, what you'll actually have to find out is you have to return the root of the node of any one of them. So let's say that you have seen that this is a duplicate. So you have to return any root of any one of these duplicate subtree. So let's say this is two. So this from two, this is a subtree that is duplicated here as well. So you have to return any one of this root. So this root or this root. And uh, and let's say as you can see that now subtree like a uh, subtree at four. Okay, like at this particular node is also duplicated. So this is four here. This, this is four here as well. So this is four here as well. But you can just say I don't. So subtree at this particular two node is also duplicated. Let's say this is the part. This part. So if you just like just remove this part, let's say if I if I just remove this whole part, this is the duplicate part. This is duplicate. That's the thing. You have to find out that and that's the whole thing. The total number of input is also pretty much ten by four only. So let's try to do that. So what you can see is that the value between minus one two hundred. So it is pretty much we don't have to think about the value as as in, but yeah, that's it. And uh, what you can more see. Okay. So when you are like looking out in duplicates and it is a somewhat a tricky problem, what you can actually do is that we can think over and finding out all the subtrees, okay? But and when we are getting all the subtrees, if I see the same subtree again, then it is cool. But how we can show the subtrees? Instead of like storing the whole subtree because like I cannot like just make a map of trees actually subtrees, but we can map make a somewhat map of the path of let's say the whole tree. If we just let's say serialize it, or let's say make it in a plain view, okay, then we can, or like we can come to a common consensus of how the view will look like. We can like store a view of a particular subtree, store them inside the map, and then whenever if I see a particular state being repeated, we can just check that okay, it is partially repeated. Just return the root of the repeated, uh, you can subtree and just print. That's all the logic here. Nothing much complicated. So we have to just somehow store. The map or the view of a particular subtree. So there are different type of traversal we can do, but because we have to first traverse the whole subtree and got the whole view, there are like different type of like DFS, BFS not required here, but there are different type of also traversal that is pre-order, in order, and post-order. In pre-order, we'll go to the like we'll first travel and then we'll uh, like we'll we'll what we'll do that we'll just first print, okay, and then we'll travel. The second one is that we'll go to left. Print and then we go to right. And the last one, the post order is that we'll go to left and right. We'll travel the whole tree and then print out. And that's the best case scenario. Why? Because we have we have traveled the the left side, the right side. We have done, and then we are iterating over and checking out what is the current state. And that's what we require because for a particular node, we have iterated over the, the left tree and right tree. We have got the map, and then we have got the map. We can now decide that whether this whole subtree is already seen or not. Uh, and thus we will do a post over post order traversal over this tree and at any moment of time if we see the same tree again and again then we just make it out and just point like give into total that's all logic here nothing much complicated let's move on to code part it will become more clear to you if you have any doubts you can join the comment box so what we have done is that we have to store the root nodes of all the duplicate subtrees we'll make a vector out of it and call the solve function Sending out the root of the actual tree that we have, the starting tree, and the answer that will be storing out all the root nodes or like the, all the nodes that are say subtrees, okay, and just printing out that answer. Okay. Now, how this recursive function will work out? So we have a map as well that will be storing out a string. So we will be like making the whole subtree in form of in like in the form of a string, okay, and just checking out that whether that particular string, the whole traversal, is seen again and again, and this end will show that the occurrence of that. Okay, this is the map. You can also make different type of like you can make a set out of it or whatever you can say. Like you just have to check it whether the same string is appear like appearing again or not. So what you will do is that if so, this is the root and this is the result. So we'll just push the particular result. Like if you have seen the same thing, let's focus on the root. Okay. So we are taking the root. If it is not a not a root node or like if it is a valid if it is not a valid node, which actually means that if it is a null node, which means that we have iterated over or got to the very end of the tree. Let's say. We have gone to. If I just draw it out, let's say we have this tree. We are doing, doing a traversal. So we have start from this. We move to the left. Move to the left. There is no more left. Move to right. There is no more right. So 
if you go to left there is no node here as such okay this is null so that's what i'm talking about if it is a null node if you are, if you are on a null node we return a hash because we're talking about strings but we return a hash string like let's say this is an empty hash string so that we have a hash then what we'll do is that when we have talked so this is the actual base condition if you have gone out of bound of the tree and it is a hash now what we'll do is that for if you've gone out of bound if you're not going out of bound we have inbound of the particular tree that we are building out we have two options because we are doing a post order we'll first go to left half right half and then do the actual root value what we'll do is that we go to the left half so left half is just going to the left of the root going to the right half of the roof so this will return a string that the string is actually the value of the portler like view of the subtree okay it's because this is the this is building the subtree so what we're building is that get all the root node values separated by commas on the left hand side similarly bring all the root node values on the right hand side separated by commas and the particular value on the node i am on the value of it okay so this like this will bring like make a complete map of it so what is what they actually building is left half right half and the current value so left half so all the left half nodes separated by commas or the right half node separated by commas and the current value this will be built as a subtree okay for a particular node i am on and this is as a string now i will increment that particular string inside the map because this is and if when we go out of bound it will be hash so it will be like somewhat hash number so let's say if i just try to build out let's say it is hash then four then then we go to this so this is hash then this is two okay this is the whole string that will form for this particular tree when we go to this tree as well subtree then it will be again same like let's say it is four then hash then this is hash and this two the, the the both of these subtree like like you can see that this whole string will remain same when you get the same string then if the map value of a particular subtree that is we are storing in string turns out to be 2 which means that it is already seen one more time because you have incremented the count if it is already seen then we will return or add that particular node that i am on or that particular subtree inside this answer vector that we are storing out the root nodes of the subtree that were that are common or that are duplicate storing out in that and just returning out the string that is the string of the subtree that we iterated over till now and just passing out to its parent nodes so that we can build the higher level view of the tree and then it's just a recursive function okay so we will be like sending out if we're just going deep down we will be storing out all the subtrees and for all the subtrees just get left half right half and the particular node build out the current view and then use that view to build the upper level views okay and that's it then we have got all the views we'll just count how many views that are duplicated just print out the answer and just return the total number of nodes that are uh, subtree are duplicated so this is doing an overall operation so this is a post or, or a traversal so this post or traversal will be done in o of n but we are using a map also and map is using like like log n operation to store it out so it's overall o of n only and uh, that is why it is also 10 to 4 so some of like tangum city will be required in the map operation because it's a very large string it can be formed similarly for this it is an o of n so it will be like totally completed and uh, that's all uh, and the space is stored inside the map so map is required in space nothing is used in this call function that's all time of sitting and space completely for this problem thank you for watching the video till the end if you have still more doubts you can mention in the comment box i will see you in the next one like keep coding and bye